And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for August 15th. Kevin is gone and in its place is Hurricane Linda, now a Category 4 system. Uh, over in the Atlantic, Fred is now down to a remnant low, but it could reform fairly soon. 16W is on the other side of the world and it is creeping ever so close to Guam, as well as Tropical Storm Grace, which was named earlier today, bringing the total number of named storms so far this year to 54 on day 227 of the year, otherwise known as August 15, 2021. On day 76 of hurricane season in the Atlantic, the remnants of Fred are currently in the Gulf of Mexico, expected to head to the northwest with a 90% reformation chance. Tropical Storm Grace was named earlier today and is currently impacting the Leeward Islands and poses a threat to Hispaniola, which is not what they need after Fred moved through earlier in the week and the magnitude 7.2 earthquake that occurred in Hispaniola earlier today. Day 92 in the East Pacific, Linda is now a Category 4 hurricane and it is not expected to affect any land areas. 16W is still going strong unnamed and it is heading westwards towards Guam where there are tropical storm warnings in effect as of the time of recording they were just issued and it could head towards the Philippines but it's too far out to say for sure uh, really. Monsoonal activity is still ongoing in the North Indian Ocean. There is nothing tropical in this part of the world as is the usual for this time of year in this part of the world. Jumping into the satellite imagery for the Atlantic, Fred is currently over the Gulf of Mexico with its 90 percent reformation chance. Tropical Storm Grace is currently impacting the Leeward Islands and is heading towards Hispaniola and there appears to be another uh, tropical wave coming off of Africa where that has not been invested just yet and thus has no formation chances in this current moment in time. Over in the East Pacific, Hurricane Linda is now a Category 4, looking absolutely stunning on satellite, if you ask me. Uh, and this system is not eyeing any land areas at this current moment in time. 16W is making its way westwards towards Guam, where tropical storm warnings have just been issued. Still unnamed! Uh, slowly is creeping towards Guam where as I just mentioned tropical storm warnings have just been issued and it could track towards the Philippines but we're not 100% sure if it will get there it's like I mentioned it's too far out to say for absolute certain over in the North Indian it's all quiet it as is the norm for this time of year tropical activity wise as there are no um, areas of interest nor invests in this area for the foreseeable future. Tropical Storm Grace is closely following in the footsteps of Fred as a tropical storm. It is expected to landfall in and impact areas of both Hispaniola and Cuba before making its way into the Gulf of Mexico. Hurricane Linda is at present a Category 4 system that has possibly reached its peak by now. Uh, the NHC expect weakening of this system from here on out, but we will see what happens with Hurricane Linda. Sea surface temperatures starting with the West Pacific largely remaining at 29 degrees Celsius where Anne has some pockets of 30 degree waters. The North Indian Ocean is registering temperatures of around 27 to 28 degrees. Uh, the tropical Atlantic has temperatures of 27 to 29 degrees Celsius. The Gulf of Mexico largely 29 to 30 degrees. Uh, the tropical East Pacific is roughly ranging around 27 to 29, uh, has pockets of 30 degrees on the southern coast of Mexico. 
and the subtropical East Pacific is registering low to mid 20s. Sea surface temperature anomalies, the East Pacific area from Baja California to Hawaii is still remains largely cooler than average, but it is slowly warming up. It's actually broken away from the coast of Baja California, which remains with um, slightly above average temperatures. The Atlantic subtropics are still all over the place. Uh, the US, co the east coast of the US, excuse me, has waters remaining largely above average. However, the west coast of Europe is below average. Uh, the tropical spots of the Atlantic still remain above average. Jumping over to the Western Pacific, it's still warmer than average, apart from a few pockets to the south of Japan around the Okinawa Islands. And the North Indian Ocean still remains above average apart from the West Central Arabian Sea, but that aforementioned part of the world is still slowly warming up. And it is worth mentioning that the Sea of Japan has largely cooled off from its abnormally uh, above average temperatures, it now remains just slightly above average. On this day brings us to 1991, bringing us Typhoon Fred, which reached its peak today before landfalling in Hainan. It is also worth mentioning that Tropical Storm Ellie had also formed yesterday and was well on its way to becoming yet another typhoon. Up next in the Atlantic Storm naming list is Henri, followed by Ida. Up next in the East Pacific is Marty, followed by Nora. And in the, over in the Central Pacific, we are still waiting on Hone. And up next in the West Pacific still remains El Mais, followed by Konson. Up next in the North Indian remains Gulab, followed by Shaheen. Up next in the Australian region is Paddy, followed by Ruby. First up in the Southwest Indian is Anna, followed by Batsirai. And finally, up next in the South Pacific is Cody, followed by Dovi. That's all from me for now. We'll see you for another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night.